Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Missy Maroon here, and today I have an empties video for you. I haven't done one of these for a while, I feel like, but I don't know, my bag is pretty full, as you can see. I keep everything in an old Urban Decay bag from the one time I went into Urban Decay, and um, yeah, so anything that I just run out of or I use up, if it has like a little box or a package, I just throw it on in here. I even have candles in here. I'm going to start with those because they're glass and I don't want them to hit anything and shatter so then when I don't know about that and they're each in my hands die. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I have two of these little single wick candles from Bath and Body Works. This is from the fall collection and it's called Flannel. And This is like literally the greatest scent I think I may have ever smelled that's not like florally and stuff. So this is like, I like very floral scents, but I also like the darker, muskier, like Old Spice type of scents. This is what, this makes me think of Old Spice. And I think Old Spice is divine. Oh my goodness. Oh, and this just smells so good. So I burnt these up really quick. I would burn both of them at the time because these single wicks don't send out a very strong scent, um, yeah, but I would burn both of these at the same time and now they're gone. I'm really sad. <laughs> yeah, um, but when I was buying that, I remember the lady at the counter was like, oh, this is a really, really great scent for lots of people because, um, like, if you're married and you live with your husband, then guys tend to like it more because it's a darker, muskier scent and not so, like, sweet or sugary or anything, so, Yeah keep that in mind when fall comes around. Then I have this three wick candle from a couple of years ago actually and it's called Merry Cookie and I don't know, this is this was like my only candle for a while and then one day I was like, you know what, I should start burning candles. That seems like a fun thing to do. And so I started like I burnt this one night and then for like three days later my room still smelled like cookies and it was amazing. Oh my goodness. And so yeah I kinda couldn't stop and I was just like yes so good and just cookie-ish and it makes me think of this one that I got because I couldn't find Mary Cookie again and it came with a little cookie recipe at the top also which was pretty fun anyways but um it makes me think of this new candle that I found this year because I couldn't find this one again and it's no no vanilla snowflake sorry I have it up there on my dresser um yeah and so very similar except this is more cookie than that one but yeah pretty good deal so that's all my candles. Um, the first thing I see in here is my hair dye from Natural Instincts. Uh, this is color 22 medium auburn brown. Um, yeah, I really like this hair color. I might want the original one I'd gotten that I fell in love with was 20R dark red, and I have yet to find it again. So I've been doing this color the past couple times. But yeah, I really like that color more because it has more of the red and like purple tones in it. But yeah, I like this. So it's a good substitute until I find my precious yeah, golem anyway. Um, anyways, moving on. I have a Gillette Venus Breeze. I used up all of these razors. I liked these razors a lot. Um, I moved on to the Hydro Silk, the Chic Hydro sensitive ones or whatever they're called. And I have to say, I like these better. Um, I've just repurchased the Chic ones, though, because I do like those. Well, I do not like the name. It makes me feel like I'm going to say a bad word. Anyways. But I really liked this. It smelled really good, and it did a pretty darn good shave. And then, from shampoo, I just used this up. I'm sure there's... Yeah, there's a little bit more in here, but... I'm not going to take the time to be like, yeah. <laughs> to me! Anyways, um, and this is the Head & Shoulders Ocean Lift Shampoo, and I got this because Florida Force said that it helped give her hair volume, and I want full, voluminous, thick hair, and so I thought I'd try this out. It didn't really do that for me, but we can't always win. It kept my hair clean. That's what I care about the most in shampoo. Then, from Bath & Body Works, I have this Beautiful Day Super Fruit 2-in-1 Body Scrub and Wash, and I love this. This was awesome. Oh my goodness. I would, um, so I would take the time to scrub my legs while 
one of my skincare shower skincare things is. And I think I'm going to do a shower skincare routine uh, just because I talk about it all the time and I feel like I should go through what it is. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> and um, so I would do this during one of the steps that took a little bit longer because it was like an in-shower mask type of thing that I would that I use um, and it just smelled so good and it was very fresh and sort of apple-y and fruity so it's different than a lot of the scents I go for. I go for more floral scents as I said before but this was a lot more um, fruity but it blended really well with my lotions that are more like well, I have one that's really sugary and sweet and kind of sickens me, and then the other one that's just really clean and fresh scented, so that my perfume is the main course in scents. <laughs> that sounds weird. Anyways, um, but yeah, this was really good. It helped. It really, really, like, using a sugar scrub or just some type of scrub really, really helps shaving your legs and making them super soft. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to try and get Extraordinary, a.k.a. my best buddy, Megan Molander, up on here and she's going to teach us how to make a sugar scrub that she stole from her sister because she knows how to make it as well and so we're going to do some DIY even though I never do DIY because I think they're stupid. <laughs> Oops. Anyways, moving on. Um, I have a cotton round sleeve in here. This had a hundred in them. I have one of my Kirkland Signature Daily Facial Towelettes things in here. I hope I see at least one other in here. This is a bigger pack, but yeah, I haven't repurchased really these since just because I'm good with my Bioderma and Clean and Clear Facial Cleanser. Um, using those two, so for the Bioderma, I just use that on my eyes, and then I use the facial cleanser on my face. Um, and I, I, I like that better than using the facial wipes, although these are by far the best facial wipes I've ever used. I recommend these to anyone who is looking for a makeup remover because it doesn't hurt, it doesn't irritate your eyes, and it takes off your makeup super well. This is compare, like comparable to Bioderma. I think I did uh, a first impression of Bioderma. I'll link down below, and I used this on one half of my face and Bioderma on the other half, and it was pretty close. So, yeah. If you have a Costco, because I think it's that's the only place you can get it. If you have a Costco, I would really recommend getting these. They're the bomb.com. Then, from Trader Joe's, I have this moisturizing cream shape for men and women. It's supposed to smell like honey mango. It smelled like nothing, if you ask me. Um, it was weird, because this was kind of like a lotion thing. And you, like, put it on your legs, and then you shaved with it. But it actually worked, it worked pretty good. I liked it. Um, I've tried... I've tried that one um, that's really popular, like that shave cream, and I liked that too. Um, I'd say that this is comparable to it. It's definitely different, but they both get the same thing done, which is to shave your legs and give you a better, closer shave. So yeah, I should probably repurchase something like this. But I'm debating waxing my legs, so. Uh, then I have a Stridex Maximum strength uh, single step acne control wipe here. I have used these since I was in fourth grade, so that is, oh, that's six years of using these things. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know, they're just great. I use them in the mornings when I'm getting ready. I wipe my face to clean off because it's always good to clean your face in the morning, and this gives me a good clean just for the morning because I do a really good clean at night, so then this just kind of helps top it off. And it's really handy because then when I'm applying my makeup, I can wipe off my fingers on it because <laughs> I don't like having stuff on my fingers. Anyways, so I just love this. I would recommend getting it. You can get it at your, like, at QFC Faux Show um, and other places, I think. But definitely QFC. And it's not, like, over-the-counter or anything, so you should be able to get it at other places. Then I have my Be Fine Foods... Food Skin Care Exfoliating Cleanser with Brown Sugar, Sweet Almond, and Oats. And this is something I used to use every day, well, not every day, like every time I would uh, do my shower skin care routine because I did that like three days a week just because it's a little bit intense. Um, this was awesome. I've used this for a couple of years. This is the second one I've gone through. I think it was like one lasted me about a year and a half. So, yeah, I really, really like this. Um, I'm probably going to repurchase it, but I do want to try out a different 
uh, facial scrub just because I don't want my skin to get used to this, but I highly recommend this. It's awesome. Um, I heard about it through one of Ingrid Nelson's videos a couple years ago, and um, what I love about it, and that she said that she also loved about it, is that it's like a very, very intense like facial scrub, but, it, but then in the end, it like as you use it, it turns into like a foam, and that lets you know that it's like done doing its magic, and um, that you've cleaned your face <laughs> in a way, and so then it like becomes really gentle in the end, and I really like that it's like first like harsh getting, getting the job done, and then very gentle to end it. So yeah, this is just a great product. Then I have my Victoria's Secret Love Spell Hydrating Body Lotion. I got this in like a set of three for Love Spell stuff, so I probably have the other two things in here. Um, and I love this scent. It is one of my favorite scents ever. I have it in the perfume form, and I wear it almost every day. It's awesome. And the lotion is incredible. It's super hydrating. Um, you can definitely, like, build it in there and stuff because... I feel like it can be not super hydrating, but if you like do the right amount, it's really, really hydrating, um, and it smells just divine, so super florally. I love it. Then from just up and up, I have a nail polish remover. Nothing interesting about that. Um, I finally made it through my Brazilian Keratin Therapy Conditioner. I went through, like, um a shampoo of this brand, I don't remember which type it was, but a shampoo of this brand like a year ago and I'd been using the two of these together and I was like, what the heck, why is this still not working? And, and like, why is this still going? <laughs> and it was lasting so long. Especially because I use um, the color treatment that comes with my hair dye as a conditioner then like at least once a week as well just to help keep the color fresh. And, um, yeah, so it took me a while to get through this, but I'm finally through it, so yay. And I have another conditioner now from Redkin, so that's good. And this smelled really good. I don't remember anything else about it, though. Um, I have a box of Katy Perry eyelashes from Eyler. This is in Cool Kitty. I think I found, okay, this is weird, but I found the eyelashes themselves at the bottom of my backpack one day, and I was like, not sure how you got in there. But okay, because I've never, like, I got these for um, a church play musical thing I was doing um, called Built on the Rock. It's awesome. If, I, I'll try to see if it's online. I don't know if it is, though. Anyways, so I used this for that, and then in on Halloween I used these, but, yeah. Wait, did I even go trick-or-treating this year? I didn't go trick-or-treating this year. That's weird. I just went to my homecoming game. Which I don't remember. Oh, that's where I be lost at the very end. That was depressing. Anyways, um, so I have those. And then I have a cotton ovals, 50 pack sleeve. Always fun. Cause I, I like using the ovals now more than the rounds, just because. The rounds, I used to use that with something else, and anyway, it's just, yeah, I use the ovals now. Then I have an e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. This, I used to think it was really good, but now, I don't know, I think my eyes got used to it in 7. My eyes are super oily to begin with, so then this, it just, once it got used to it, it was like, nah. And I struggle with eyeshadow primers. Sorry. Um, then from Rimmel I have my Stay Matte Pressed Powder in color 001 Transparent. I use this all day, every day. It's the best. Then I have a foaming, gentle foaming soap. Oh, this is in Sweet Pea. I don't remember the scent. Um, so yeah. So, don't remember its scent. But oh look, I have another Sweet Pea. I assume I liked this scent. Just sad because I don't remember it at all. Um, oh, I have a secret clinical strength uh, invisible solid completely clean deodorant. I use this. Yeah, it's really small. 
I don't know how effective it is, but it has the most, like, the strongest scent ever. Oh my goodness. It ain't no secret you wearing deodorant. Like, one day, I was sitting in this girl next to me, Zeph, who, like, I'm school friends with, and she was just like, let's see, I can smell your deodorant. And I was like, ah, no! Yeah, so that's fun. Um, then I have my box for the Cubella Clarifying Cucumber Peel-Off Mask. I use this once a week on Sunday. In fact, I'm going to use it tonight. I'm so excited. Um, this was in my 2014 favorites. I love this skin mask, so I have the box in here. That's fun. Um, I have my Too Faced Mascara. No need to say more about that other than that it is the best mascara I've ever used in my life. Ooh, you're full. Yeah, you full. Oh dear. Um, I don't know why this is in the empties because it still has quite a bit of product in it. But it is my pink chiffon triple moisture body cream from Bath and Body Works. I will be taking that out of my empties because that is not empty. Although the lid's broken off. That's fun. <laughs> the things you find in your empties bag, right? <laughs> I have a little mini empty of the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I tried this out. I wasn't that impressed with it, so yeah, but I used it up just because I'm that type of person that uses things up, and yeah. I have a toothbrush. Don't worry, I still brush my teeth. I have a cool, like, Marvel toothbrush now that I use instead. That's probably why I got rid of it because I got my new toothbrush from Jamie for my birthday. Yeah. Uh, I have my Acube Acu Oasis Contacts Lens Box. I'm just throwing stuff. I like it. <laughs> I have my color treatment from the Hair Dye, which I said I use this as a conditioner. So, I used it up. I have <laughs> Japanese Cherry Blossom Shower Gel. This smells pretty good. This is like a classic Bath and Body Works scent, I feel. But, yeah, so I used this. It was nice. Made my body soft. Um, then, from Rimmel, I have a soft Cole Cajol Eyeliner Pencil in pure white and this just kind of dried up and got dirty and gross so yeah. I have not repurchased because I'm not into that whole lining your waterline with white anymore. I used to really be into that but I'm not so that's awkward. Uh, and then from Maybelline I have their little baby skin. I repurchased this and I don't know how I feel about this to be honest. I can't tell if I like it or not. Primers are hard. There's, I haven't found a really good drugstore primer that I swear by yet. So if you have any suggestions, please do leave them down below. Just please. <laughs> Not something that's going to break the bank. <laughs> and I have my beloved Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner from Mermel in color 063 East and Snob. <laughs> and you literally cannot get any more out of this. <laughs> yeah. This was the best color ever. It was in my 2014 favorites, and I have yet to find it again. Literally, Ulta and my Target over the past couple months since I ran out of this have not had it. And I'm like, I need you! But I did find a lip liner from MAC, so like, <laughs> a little bit more expensive, um, called Boldly Bear, and it's pretty good, pretty good color. I, I like it. it. It works about the same, so, yeah. It's just not as matte. Um... Oh, I have my Cubella Deep Cleansing Aloe Vera Cream Mask, and I, this was my first try with Cubella, and this was back before they had the tubes, and it was just in these ratchet little bags, so I kept it in this because I was like, hey, I can use this more than once. Anyways, um, again, so, yeah, I used that a while ago. And it has been a while since, it has been a minute since I cleaned this out. Uh, I have a pink chiffon shower gel. As you can tell, I like this scent. Well, I'm getting kind of sick of it because I've just been using it so much over the past couple years. So, yeah. And I have, again, my contacts lens box. I have a Lancome Bifacial um, Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. 
This was okay. Not that impressive, but I used it up because I felt like it. And it, it didn't take that long to use it up, to be honest. Ah! I have my Old Spice Fiji deodorant. I used to use this. I need to go back to Old Spice because Old Spice deodorant, let's get real, boy deodorant works better than girl deodorant. Okay, don't try to lie to yourself and say, no, that's not true. But it does. It is so true. And also, let's think about this. Boys like the scent of boy deodorant, such as Old Spice. Girls like this scent. Well, at least I did like this scent a lot. Um, so I think it's a win-win situation. I mean, the guys are going to be like, somebody smells really good in here. And I'm going to be like, I know, I smell delicious. And so, you know. <laughs> um, this was in scent Fiji, so it was very tropically. Oh, please don't. pink and proper. I, I can't tell if it was a red or a pink color, but I just remember not being super impressed with it, but yeah. And from next, do I have more than one of these in here? Aha. I knew I did. I have, ooh, these are two different colors. <laughs> oh, good job, Jesse. What color are you? look like he wouldn't match much better than this one did. Well, this explains some things. Yeah. Well, that's fun. Um, I have two NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencils. Uh, I think I had this. Oh. They changed the name in the course of me buying it. Anyways, but I think I had this in my 2014 favorites. Mm -mm. I don't think I would put it as a favorite anymore, actually. Like, pretty much as soon as I ran out of this one, I went and got a different NYX eyebrow thing. Um, which I'll be putting my eyebrow um, routine up soon. So, keep your ass peeled for that. Um, and I like it so much better than this. Um, I have it in color 06 Taupe, though. This is the original one I'd gotten, and I remember it matching the eyebrows pretty well. And then all of a sudden he was using this one, I'm like, hmm, this is a little bit darker, even though I'm not even filling in the middle part of my eyebrow, and the color is matching up. It's just, hmm, it's not working, and it's because it's in color 04 brown. Very dark brown. So. <coughs> Hooray! <laughs> We're getting close. Getting close. Um... From Long Calm, I just have this little eyeshadow palette here. They, there's still colors in here, but uh, I don't know. I threw it in here, so yeah. It's in color positive, flora, floral esque, maki, macchino or something, and lizard. That's fun. Then I have this super old NYC. I can't even. Oh, it is. It's like a lip gloss, though, and it's in Fashion Avenue Fuchsia, so it's a bright fuchsia color, so, yeah, that works real well for me. Um, I have another stain matte pressed powder. I have my asthma medicine in here. Ooh! Okay, I'm probably going to make my room filled with drugs and die. Anyways, um, I have this Revlon t Quick Dry Top Coat. I just always use this, so I ran out. Um, this also is not a non-empty thing. Um, it's an All May Shadow Softy in a bright pink color. I use this in my Valentine's Day look last year, but yeah, this sucks and I wasn't using it, so. 
and I have two mascaras, a mini sample of my Too Faced mascara, and the Voluminous Miss Manga mascara from L'Oreal, and I don't know, I've heard a lot of people say that they really like this mascara, such as um, it's Blondie or Casey Holmes, I don't know if she changed her channel name to Casey Holmes, I'm not sure. Anyways, um, but I really, uh, it wasn't that good for me. I feel like it gave me a lot of volume, but there was no length at all. And like, if I felt like it made my eyelashes shorter, because I have fairly long eyelashes, but when I was using this, they were like little stubs, they were just super thick stubs. So I used this up, because uh, mostly on my lower lash line, because that was, it was okay for that, but yeah, I will definitely not be repurchasing this. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in my bed. Um, I have an e.l.f. Total Face Brush. Um, yeah, this brush sucks. Basically, quick tip for e.l.f. If you're getting a brush, do not get the brushes that have the white body and the brown hair. These suck. Terrible, 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 terrible brushes. However, their black ones are incredible. Like their face stippling brush, like the small stippling brush, whatever it's called, that is life for me. I love that brush. Um, they have another one that I use for bronzing. Like their black brushes are where it's at, but their white and brown ones suck. So, yeah. And I think, oh, no, this is not. This is our uh, second to last item. I have a Wet n Wild Color Con Bronzer in color 743EA, Reserve Your Cabana. And this broke the first day I got it, but I pushed through and tried to use it. You know, and so that was fun. Uh, and then eventually I just gave up. I was like, whatever. <laughs> and so, yeah, it was pretty good for me. But, um. Then the last item I have in here, and this looks full, but it's not, I swear I can't get anything else out of this, is my beloved CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation in color um, 805 Ivory. I, I can't say enough. Oh, there's bronzer on my hands now. Ew! Go away! Get off my sweatpants. Um, sorry, I cannot say enough good things about this foundation. It's bomb.com. So, yeah. You've heard me talk about it a lot. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I don't have anything else to show y'all. That's all my empties. And I will see you guys next week. Uh, I already said thank you so much for watching. But thank you again so much for watching. I just really appreciate it. Goodbye!